I'm Leila Guerrani. I am a Microsoft Excel MVP, and I run a website called excelplus.com. I have a YouTube channel under my name, and I share Excel knowledge for people so that they can work better in Excel. So right now I help people solve their Excel problems, but I, my background is in economics and consulting, and I worked in finance for many years. So I used Excel quite a lot. I used it, uh, I used formulas, pivot tables, and um, VBA, so okay. a lot of programming. Um, one mistake that I personally made, so I think it might be common to a lot of people, is that you think that you know enough. And you try to solve everything based on what you know. And then, like for me, later, when I started to learn Excel, then I realized that there was a lot of gap in my knowledge. And that actually, the reason I thought I knew everything was because I could solve everything with what I knew but it wasn't, I wasn't using the optimal way. So I was very inefficient. It cost me a lot of time. One tip is to keep it simple. Um, sometimes we try to solve really complex problems and then think, get overwhelmed at the, the formula and then get lost in, in the whole debugging process. So one, Tip is just like try to break it down into simpler steps and don't always think of one type of solution. So like I'm going to solve this with a formula because you can also use pivot tables. Maybe that's going to be better for that purpose or you can use Power Query. So just like take a step back and think, brainstorm different ways of solving the problem. One other tip is that if you're writing big formulas, use the F9 key. So the F9 shortcut key, if you, can, if you highlight parts of the formula, you press the F9 key, you see the intermediate results of the formula. So that's a great debugging tip. When you're building a new model or you're creating something in um, a new spreadsheet, a new report, just to keep everything organized and structured, keep everything in separate tabs. For example, your raw data in a separate tab, your calculations separately, and the dashboard, the report separately. Um, because it's easier to follow, you know, where things come from. Uh, also, the other thing is like, keep, pay attention to design, even though you know, a lot of us are like numbers people, we just want the numbers to work. But the people who might review these spreadsheets, they're not numbers people. You know, you want to have a nice organized structure so it's easy for everyone to find things. Just like you want to keep a clean office to be more productive, you also want to keep your workbooks organized to be more productive. I would say check out FlashFill. So FlashFill is, um, you know, sometimes, for example, you want to split a full name into first name and last name or there's a certain pattern to how you're doing the split. We would, in the old days, use formulas, like the left function, the right function, mid function, to strip them out. But you don't necessarily need formulas anymore since we have flash fill. So as long as there is a pattern, something that Excel can recognize, it does it for you. So you just have to type the first sample, and sometimes the second sample, and then just highlight the area and press Control E. That's the shortcut for flash fill. And there you have it, no Great. formulas.